Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? It's Tony. This is kind of lolly to look alive. It's a it's a Saturday edition. It's definitely not the normal live, but I thought it would be fun to take some time today to do a group activity. And so, uh, as the title says, how do you live that cruise life uh, while you cannot cruise? And so, this is a live brainstorming session. Much like uh, I used to do when I worked in corporate America, I would bring together the best minds that I knew, the Loca fam, and uh, brainstorm. So uh, yeah, let's let's buckle up. It's going to be super interactive today. I hope to spend a lot of time in the comments, hanging out, and uh, let me give you let me give you the outline. We'll do it like we did it as if uh, we were at work. So if you're not at work and uh, you're missing it, this will be similar to being at work. Uh, maybe not. This, let's just call it a think tank, a brain trust, a uh, creative time, something to take our minds off what's going on. Here's, here's, here's the format. All right. So I've got a list of topics. These are the topics that we want to look at. We want to look at uh, what are some ideas to recreate cruise drinks while we're not cruising? What can we do with cruise food and the cruise food experience, cruise entertainment, cruise gambling? cruise excursions, cruise activities. We'll spend some time in each one of these topics. Uh, and then if you have a comment that has a question, just do a hashtag Q, capital Q, so that I can see it easy. Sometimes it's crazy in the chat. And then if you have an idea, do a hashtag capital I. And uh, what I'll do is I'll move the arrow around uh, as we jump into the topics. I hope that makes sense. Let's get right into it. The The goal today is to uh, really take our mind off of what's going on. Now Now a week into this no cruising for 30 days scenario, uh, days into people being self-isolated. Uh, look, and, and not to, um, not to, not to, um, let me get a swig of coffee, guys. I just want to say it right. Serious times. Uh, people are sick. There are people that are having a hard time. We don't want to minimize that at all. But there's also people out there just doing their best to get through it. And maybe we can provide a little distraction for a little bit of time, uh, redirect our thoughts to something else, and do it in the context of cruising. That's the goal today. So uh, cruise drinks, first topic. Give me some ideas. How can you make it seem like you're on a cruise using alcohol? Is, do you just pile it down? Give me some ideas. Let me jump into... Let me jump into the chat and see what's going on. I see some familiar faces. Papa Mozo's in the house. Real Life Cruisers Australia. Pamela Anderson. Maybe not that Pamela Anderson. Of course, Amanda Show's in the house. Nautical Nurse Nancy. Plump Travelers. Let's see. Let's see it. I, I'm, I'm not seeing any hashtag. Oh, there's a hashtag I. Peggy says. Oh, I see a few hashtag eyes. Let me go back through it. Going to the top and looking for hashtags. Is everybody doing all right today? Everybody good? Oh, there's our friend. Oh, man, this chat just jumps whenever I do anything. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Can I turn up my volume of uh, my microphone? Can you guys hear me okay? All right, Margaret says, uh, here's an idea. Set up a buffet on your kitchen table, then drop all the serving spoons on the floor, reuse them, and then touch every roll. I don't know what cruises you've been on. I haven't had that experience. <laughs> uh, Lovey's Fat Life, I'd like to see, I'd like this idea, I'd like to see a nest of series from creators. I don't know what that is. Day drinking. All right, that's a great topic. So Lose for Your Cruise said, idea day drinking. I, there, you know, there's some people in the community that I really appreciate as people who know how to get their drink on. If you hang out long enough today, the degenerate cruisers, they're going to be doing a live stream, I believe at four o'clock where they're going to be making some drinks. I need to hang out with those guys. Um, I don't drink very much, but uh, I was having a conversation with Jenny about when's the best time to day drink on a cruise. Like, is it better to day drink on a sea day when you know you got to go to an excursion the next day? Or is it better to day drink on the day that the day before the sea day? Of course, you're at port. I don't know. I don't know. Redneck Lover, thank you so much for delivering the goods. Uh, it's people like you that are keeping everybody 
as well supplied as possible. And uh, thank you. I hope you're doing great out there on the road. I hope that you're safe. Thank you so much for the super chat. Nautical nurse and Nancy, her husband, here's the idea. Anthony says to drink 15 drinks. Does anybody drink 15 drinks on land? That's what I'm wondering. Coconut rum, drinking games. There we go. Make a mudslide mocha chocolate getaway. I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, so I is there has there been a run on the liquor stores? Does anybody know? Like, did everybody again, we don't really drink a whole lot, but people that do like to drink, uh, did did you have to stock up a little bit over the last few days? Is it the can you find rum as easily or as hard as you can find toilet paper? I don't know. Oh, I heard somebody say it's loud. Is it too loud? Somebody hashtag too loud if it's too loud. So that's the, there's Maryland. She says, don't worry about the day drinking. Being at home, it doesn't matter. Every day could be day drinking, I think. That's what I think. Take me to your Lido. I make uh, make virgin drinks. Get the umbrella on top to the top them off and put fruit in the straw. That could seem cruisy. Redneck lover. Bud Light Platinum and ingredients for buttery nipples would be my idea of cruise life at home. There you go. Oh, oh, Danny boy, where do you live? All, all their liquor stores are closed. R.L. Hunter stocked up big time in Las Vegas. There's the name I was looking for, Cruising with Dr. Braxley Gilkey. I, I Thank you so much for all your comments. I don't think I ever got to say hello to you, so glad to have you. There you go, Peggy. That's kind of a cruise thing. Get a bucket and put five beers in it. And then you need somebody to aggressively sell that to you until you finally give in, right? There you go, D. Whitmore. Drink all the wine that you already had purchased for your next cruise. That's a good one. Liquor stores closed in Pennsylvania. I mean, I, I'm, I'm assuming that's non-essential, but in these trying times. So back in the day, I did drink a little more, and I'll date myself a little bit. I used to think I was cool because I drank Zima. Did anybody ever drink Zima out at the club? The <laughs> I was young once. Don't judge me. Life Journeys with Tammy. Thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, thank you for your creator spotlight. I tripled my subscribers, but it just launched a week ago. Well, that's good. Uh, you know, that's the other thing that's going on during this time is, thank you, uh, Richard, for saying the volume is good. The other thing that's going on during this time is there's a lot of people at home, and it's a challenging time for everybody, the same as creators. You know, a lot of creators uh, still have regular jobs, and a lot of them work from home. And it's a good time to make some more content just to uh, keep people's minds uh, out there uplifted a little bit. So, yeah, if you're out there and you're a creator, keep making the stuff. Steve Bartlett, thank you so much. Mocha Chaka Lalita Loca Latte. Mocha Chaka Lalito Latte. That almost sounds like Lady Marmalade, right? Yeah, it's a lot less. The drinks are less expensive on, on land, right? Walmart... Well, that's interesting, too. Not all Walmarts have alcohol. Like, I think in Tennessee, and we've lived in a couple places, so, yeah. Tennessee, you, there's no, like, wine at the Walmart. There's uh, definitely no liquor. No wine, no liquor. There was beer. But, like, in North Carolina, all the grocery stores had a huge, um, had a huge like, wine, you know, deal that you could get. No liquor, and then here it's, it's wine. But, like, the Publix here has a liquor store owned by Publix next to it. R.L. Hunter, Zima was tasty. That's right. Everybody's having the Zima flashbacks. Oh, that's very nice, Maureen. Uh, doing my best to keep uh, keep everybody a little bit uh, entertained. I think I am. Just a programming note. I think I'm just going to release a cruise vlog tomorrow and then get back to the other stuff on Monday. Just uh, woke up a little tired today and a little lazy. And uh, my body's saying, hey, man, don't wear yourself out. Yeah, stay good. So, uh, yeah, probably just put a cruise vlog up tomorrow and then back to just the other stuff on Monday. So, 
Chocolate milk tastes better than alcoholic drinks. Yeah, I, I, I've, you know, if you could get drunk off of chocolate milk, there would have been several times in my life that I would have been drunk off of chocolate milk. Go big on the fitness goals. Yeah, that's that's a good that's a good thing. Uh, our pool's warming up. Uh, fortunately, we're in a situation where we have a pool for the first time ever, and I think that's definitely going to do that. Drive through liquor store. I, I've seen those like in Ohio before. Which I think it's really nice. What's up, Jackie A from Aust? No, no, you're not from Australia, are you? You're from uh, the UK. Thank you for the super sticker. I like that cool pair. Yeah, that's. I was excited to go on at one o'clock because a lot of times we don't get the chance to hang out with our friends in Europe. And so, uh, anybody from Europe, anybody not North American, leave a comment. Leave a comment. All right. So, have we done enough cruise drinks? Have you guys got some ideas? What can we do? Yeah, I do need to get some rest for sure, Maureen. All right, let's let's move the arrow down to cruise food. What are some ideas? What what do you do at home? Now I've said this before, like in some other <coughs> excuse me, I've said this before in some other content that you know one thing that you can do at home if you want to feel like you're on a cruise is like you could go to a buffet, you could go to the Golden Corral or. Piccadillys, does that exist anymore, or is that is that a cafe? I don't know. But um, my brother and I used to go to this place called Duff's. That's really old. That, that was an old buffet. So I guess you could. We've done this. Anybody ever do this? Like uh, we would have like fun food Fridays where we would get a bunch of like pepper poppers and cheese sticks and all kinds of finger foods and make all those up and then lay them out buffet style. That would kind of seem like a cruise food thing. Uh, what else could we do? I saw somebody in the Facebook group say uh, you could get dressed up and have, like, a candlelit dinner, which I thought was pretty nice. Pretty cool. Oh, no, I thought this one would be popular. Hey, what's up, Roy? Glad you're here. Roy shows in the house. He says make the chocolate melting cake. I do like that one. There you go. Redneck Lover, his idea, watch video from Carnival on how to make the chocolate cake that they're so famous for. Oh, make a special omelet. That's kind of cool, especially if you have, like, a, a spouse or a partner that cooks. Maybe you can put a special hat on them and then make them stand at the stove and then make them make you an omelet while you kind of look at them, you know, like you do on the cruise ship. Like, yeah, I'll take some, I'll take some of that cheese in there. I don't know whose spouse would be down with that, but it does seem kind of fun. There you go, Crazy Cat Traveler restaurants. Yeah, that's that's pretty true. I don't know. I haven't really tried to order food. I've ordered uh, grocery delivery, but order delivery restaurants are waiving delivery fees to uh, to stay open. Yeah, so many restaurants are being told they can't have people inside. That that's on a daily basis. That's happening. And a lot of a lot of them are staying open for delivery. So yeah, probably a great opportunity to get delivery uh, at a at a less price. Papa Mozo, Duff's Central Indiana. Yeah, the Duff's I ate at was in a small town in Southern Virginia, Bristol, Virginia. But it was awesome. It was one of the it, it had a part of the buffet that was on a conveyor belt. When you're so I, I probably ate there when I was like twelve or thirteen. My brother and I would used to go see who could eat the most, and I was just a scrawny little kid then, but I could eat a lot of stuff. And uh, but part of their buffet was on a conveyor belt, which made it uh, made it fun. Loose for your crew said, "Buy a soft serve ice cream maker." I don't know where that's coming from. Maybe Amazon right now. Yeah, Stephanie M. That's true. Uh, eating whatever we. I tell you what. I don't know if you guys are like us, but do you buy stuff like with the best intentions of eating it, and then never eating it, and then now all of a sudden at at this point in time. Stuff that was kind of off the table, you're kind of looking at now going, maybe we should make that. I don't have a good example for it, but I do know there's food that every time we go, oh, do you want to have this for dinner? It's like, me. Then why do we buy it? I don't know. But now now all options are, are up for grabs. At some point, the food that we didn't that we bought that we didn't necessarily want to eat, I'm sure we're going to be eating. Richard Van, uh, Richard Van Den Arndt. Van Den Arndt. To set up a taco bar, I like that. That sounds like a good, uh, a good plan, a good plan. David Neal, what's up? <laughs> oh man, that sounds bad. Dilly, A.K. Dilly, Dilly, A.K.A. Dilbert Dilly, can't get eggs out there. That's not good. 
Well, we do here uh, to we we just keep chickens. No, I'm just kidding. We don't have chickens. That would be interesting, though. Don't lose me, Luana. I'm right here. Stay with me. Uh, Karen, they had steak and lobster takeout. That's always good. Now, you know, I'm not trying to be too alarmist, but do any of you guys worry about the food coming from the outside? Do you, like, wipe down the containers with wipes and stuff like that? There you go. Oh, Danny Boy has found some meat. It stayed in the freezer too long. Pam, we don't mean to make you hungry, I promise. I don't hungry. The ship show is in the house. What is up, John? John, uh, just so you're up to speed, we're currently working through different... We're, we're trying to brainstorm. So the, the big goal is that at the end of this session, we would have enough ideas that we could ponder the ship life, the cruise life, uh, for the next few days without getting too bummed out about what's going on in the world. Uh, we've talked about cruise drinks. I know you would have had some good ideas there, but now we're saying, what can you do with your food to make it seem more cruisy? I'm not saying I'm expecting big things from you, John, but you better come up with a banging idea in here. Thank you so much, Wanda, for the super chat. Very kind. Chocolate buffet for breakfast. That's right. What uh, is it carnival that calls it the chocolate extravaganza? Extra Chocolate extravaganza. That might be fun. There's been times I've slid by a cruise buffet and just ate sweets. Maybe that's that's a thing to do for one of the meals. Skip all the savory and just eat dessert. Spiker's Crazy Adventures in the house. Let's see. Uh, there's a couple ideas. Uh, Marilyn says, just made a salad bar for everyone to make their own plate. That's kind of cool. Redneck lover, go to the grocery store and get the best cut of steak Big baking potatoes, a nice veggie, some delicious rolls, and have your chop house experience at home. I like that. I like it. <laughs> Dr. Gilkey came home from the store, stripped, put clothes in washer, and showered. Yeah, so in my mind, I was like, oh, I don't care if I have any, any gloves or not. But the last time I went to the store, like earlier in the week, I was like, oh, I wish I would just had, I wish I had some gloves just to wear to touch stuff. Yeah, they've done some testing. Like, this thing continues to thrive on cardboard, plastic, like, in stupid numbers. So, uh, wipe stuff down. We have some wipes that we have to wipe stuff down. We had an interesting situation yesterday, and, of course, this guy is just doing his job, but uh, we live in a rental home, and uh, the owner of the house put in a new Wi-Fi uh, controller for the sprinkler system. So, the sprinkler system that we had got an old, like, uh, analog sprinkler controller and so the homeowner upgraded to this wi-fi deal and so the guy came out to set it up and you know I, I was a little leery nothing against the guy at all just the whole situation of like i've been trying to stay away from people and now there's a stranger and so he had to come into the garage and he had to switch out the panel which no big deal i didn't really have to touch him but part of the process i had to hand over my phone and I had to set the app up on my phone. Then I had to hand it over while he walked around the yard and set up the zones and then made sure that all the sprinklers were working. So, uh, you know, basically a stranger had my phone for three to five minutes. And, uh, again, nothing personal against the guy. But at, in this time, and you know, it was like it was a weird vibe. And so um, immediately I took the phone and wiped it down. Again, nothing against the guy, but it's a weird scenario. It's weird how all this stuff sits in your mind. Tina has an idea. She made her own pizza a couple days ago. Really looking forward to the back. Really looking forward to going back to Sorrento's Pizza on the Allure of the Sea. So satisfied. My pizza needs while I wait this out. Yeah, we don't have any kind of pizza in the house, which I guess that I might be tempted to order a pizza if they're still delivering pizza. It's been a it's been a little little period of time since I had some pizza. Um, the other thing that you could do if you're trying to get that pizza experience. Uh, I don't know how many people you have in your house, but you could uh, you could wait in line for it. That would replicate some of the cruising experience. Yeah, I got wipes, but I don't know how they're not fresh wipes. Like they came from our move. They're some Clorox wipes. Hopefully they're hopefully they're good to go. All right, so we've talked food. Now here, this next one interesting. What about cruise entertainment? So for me. That cruise life, much of that cruise life is is going to shows. And so right now for entertainment, for, there's no live entertainment really. So, uh, well, 
For me, like watching the everybody doing their live streams, there's a lot of live streams coming up. Again, the Degenerates are out today. Uh, I believe Cruise Tips TV has a live stream today. Alana Zingano has a live stream today. Uh, Adventures Ahead has a live stream today. So I think a lot of people are going live. Our friend Sharon at Sea were live yesterday. The Ship Show has been live. So there's there's entertainment that way, but I'm not going to be singing and dancing and juggling. I mean, I could. I don't have much space in this little area here. But uh, what are you guys doing for cruise entertainment? I guess, you know, I'm one of those guys that for a while I recorded a lot of the cruise shows and never intending to publish it or anything, but I guess I could string a video together and watch a cruise show. What are we doing for cruise entertainment? Give me your ideas. Oh, karaoke would be good. Show Special Features had a pretty interesting, funny video. I see Roy mention it there. What did what did uh, what did the Flying Scotsman do yesterday? I've caught a couple of his lives. I know he likes to jump on his different socials and maybe sing and dance too. Oh, good, Sharon is he's live today too. Yeah, my uh, John says I should juggle, but my juggling clubs are outside. Maybe maybe I can set up something later. Another day for sure. Oh, good, yeah. There'll probably be a lot of live streams tonight. They, I kind of wanted to get in early. Now, I've been releasing the daily, how much toilet paper do I have? And look, it has changed, but uh, no, that's just a teaser. Uh, you can look at the thumbnail and tell that something's out of place. But, uh, yeah, I'll give you the update on Monday. Chuck Spencer, are you making fun of me, or did you really watch Frisbee golf videos? Because I've already watched Frisbee golf today. I used to play some Frisbee golf, but I don't know why I, I've enjoyed watching the Frisbee golf. Yeah, purely Caribbean. Our pool is still cold. Like, it's like 68 degrees. Uh, but our son was in it the other day, and he swam around for a while. So I do think next week uh, there will be some getting in the pool. And I do have an idea. I don't know who all has a pool that are cruising creators or access to a pool, but I do have an idea for us that I'll, I'll talk about when we get down to the uh, cruise activities. Let's see, looking for ideas. I uh, think you should go live as you're going in the pool. Yeah, Marilyn, I might. Uh, I know that a GoPro, I can configure the GoPro to be a live streaming device. I thought about that. Like, I wonder if I can get the GoPro to go live and set it up by the pool and, like, do a whole show by the uh, by the thing. John, what do you mean edit a show? Just watch me edit? I don't think that would be fun. Spouse's dress-up game, that seems kind of fun. Online shopping, that's not bad. Pamela, how's it going? I've been talking to Pamela. She's been working on getting some Instacart going. That would be interesting. So, Spiker's Crazy Adventures. I've been fooling around with a new software where I can pull remote people in. That's That's my goal for, like, I don't know, maybe within the next week to come up with a good way to where... We could have a show like this, but it would it would be like me and other people. But that would be fun uh, if we could get two sets of couples. I think we could pull that off. Three windows on the screen, one MC and two couples or something, and we could do some form of the love and marriage show. I mean, I, I don't want to commit to that, but I do think I do think something like that's probably possible technology wise. But yeah, that'd be cool. Sit outside on the deck and watch a movie. Yes, hot chicken. I tell you what, it wasn't cruise entertainment today, but I did sit out on a lounger and uh, fall asleep this morning by the pool. So that was almost like a that was almost like an experience. The cool thing here is uh, there's enough shade uh, in our little porch area that I don't have to sit out in the sun. So I really love the little outside area that we have. Oh, yeah, put out, yeah, John, put out a video of a show that I filmed, yeah. The problem is I got to chop all the music out of it. It doesn't, it's not that, it's not that great, man. I could juggle. We could do, like, a whole juggling show. I need to, I tell you what, I wish I could find, I don't know where they're at since we moved, but I, I can actually juggle fire. How cool would that be to have a nighttime live stream and juggle fire? Now I feel like I'm just teasing you with stuff that I'm not going to deliver with, but that would be fun. Yeah, we've been talking about it. So, Dr. Uh, Gilkey, 
I think I, I can't see very well. Uh, for old time's sake, do a cruise wars. Yeah, feeling like it. Feeling like doing some cruise. I don't know where the dice, the bowl, or anything is, but might have to improvise. What's a good topic right now? Cruise or cancel? That's a pretty good topic. Yeah, uh, uh, a Katak Mako. You can mark your wall every day that mark the passage time like we're in prison. Yeah, I've been doing that. I've been doing that. Cruise Wars. Question, Ed Scott. Uh, yes, we are not on a cruise. This is, uh, this, is not, this is not a cruise ship here. This is, this is uh, not a cruise ship. Well, I should pop the green screen up and act like I'm on a cruise. That'd be fun. That's right, the ship show fire juggling. I gotta find my torches. I don't think I have any fuel though. That means I'd have to leave the house. Stocks is a good topic. I don't know. Oh, like whether you should buy stocks or not. Yeah. Hey, let me say that here. I don't know if anybody's gonna watch this, but let me answer that question because I haven't specifically made a video. How do you buy stocks? Uh, I I didn't realize that that was a big question, but the the way it works is. Uh, you have to have a special account to buy stocks. It's it's called a brokerage account or a trading account. And then if you have some sort of retirement account that you control like an IRA, you can buy stocks in, in those ways. Uh, there's easy ways to do it now, like an app called Robinhood. But you can't just buy it with your credit card or your bank account. So I don't know. Some people, I don't think they really fully understand that. So you actually have to go to a service like an E-Trade or Charles Schwab, possibly through your bank, that Robinhood thing, and set up an account. Then you have to send money to that account, which usually takes three or four business days, sometimes longer than that. So if you're wanting to jump in the stock game and you got extra money to do that, it's a process that takes a few days. You're not just going to be able to wake up and go, oh, the stock's $10. I can buy it in the next 15 minutes. Uh, just want to answer that question. I don't know if that's helpful to anybody, but that's the way it is. All right. Let's, let's move it down. Cruise entertainment, it seems like maybe juggling. Uh, I think John committed to doing uh, like a four-hour karaoke live stream. I don't know how you're going to do that, but that'd be kind of cool. And uh, Jamie's not here. Uh, I think he committed to pole dancing. So that's Jamie from Sharon at Sea. Everybody, make sure you, when you see him, make sure that you let him know that I let you know that he committed to live stream pole dancing. All right. Hot chicken morning show sounds good. There it is, Lisa. So I want to talk. No, Jenny's not going to do a belly flop, but um, that's what I, down in the cruise activities, we haven't got there yet. I do think it would be cool if we could do some sort of belly flop contest. Anybody who has access to a pool, it could work a few different ways. Either I could do a belly flop contest and act like four or five different people, or we could get four or five different. I might do that. I might. I mean, I might honestly just do like four or five different belly flops and try to make it look different. So pretty cool. All right. So let's move over. Cruise gambling. Does anybody care? Anybody missing gambling right now? Everything's a gamble at the moment. I don't know. Maybe you could play bingo in your house with your friends, have a poker game with less than 10 people. Uh, some people have a slot machine. You could play the, my Vegas app, get some coins, uh, nowhere to use them at right now. Cause of travel, but what do you think? Yeah, Plum Travelers. I, I can't commit anything for Jamie, but just act like I can. Yeah, sure. He's, he's doing videos over there. He's doing uh, pole dancing videos. Yeah, set up a poker table in a tiki bar and run a family poker tournament. I like that. Cooking demos. Yeah, John White, uh, a lot of people notice from the vlogs that we don't really cook that much, so I don't know that we'd be the best channel for cooking demos. It would just be me operating a microwave. We can cook, but uh, we, even though even though we're at home, we see, we send, tend to be busy. Tend to be busy. I like that uh, ship show. Set up a craps table out of an old blanket or towel. I have a really fun crap simulator on my iPad that I do like to play, but it's not the same. Roy's pole is not open. Pole. Pool is not open. Yeah, Hot Chicken, uh, I used to online gamble during the poker boom. I don't know what years those are now. I figure they're early 2000s before they made it where you couldn't uh, play poker online. To me, that was the only online gambling I really trusted. I'm always worried about these other things, like if you play craps online or something like that, that the game 
that the game could be fixed against you. A lot of people play the stock apps. Yeah, Crazy Cat Traveler, that's true. Uh, buy crew stock. It is uh, it is a gamble. Like, the market, it, it's risky. I think, uh, again, I'm not an expert, so don't take my advice as gospel. But I don't see the cruise line go. I don't see the cruise industry completely going out of business. Uh, they have a good relationship with the government. And, uh, you know, I, I think I think that they're going to be helped out along the way. So, uh I don't think it's a horrible thing. You know, even the stocks have gone up the last couple of days, but they're down a lot. So it's a crapshoot. It's a crapshoot. Oh, Stephanie, thank you so much for the Super Chat Belly Flop Contest. Anyone with a pool can upload a video with a poll on the community page. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I was thinking. Uh, I could put a video out too, like if everybody sent me clips. I don't know who all has it, but yeah, I think we should do that. As it gets warmer, if we're still kind of in isolation a little bit, uh, I can compile some clips together and we can we can all vote on the belly flop contest. Thank you for the super chat. Super chat. The super chat. Blackjack for chores. Loser washes clothes. Winner puts them away. That's how we're. That's how we're rolling in our house. That's a great idea, Lander. Bugsy's Club. Wow, Plump Travelers, you know Bugsy's Club. How about that? That's how I started playing with um, the school that went along with Bugsy's. Very cool. That was a small site, so I'm, I'm, I'm impressed that somebody knows it. Uh, I have to look up the Craps app. I think it's just a Craps simulator, and that's that's kind of where I learned the basic strategy. There's a, um, there's a great YouTube channel called... I can't remember the name of this channel, but I would definitely recommend it if I could remember. Color Up. Color Up, that's the name of the Craps channel. Go there and look for their basic strategy. I highly recommend it. The guy does live rolls when he's teaching, and it's uh, very helpful. Yeah, I think it, uh, Todd Snake Dent said they can still play online poker in Canada, but it's not considered, it's not cons- not so smart considering people cheat by setting up, very, yeah, yeah, collusion. Uh, yeah, I think it was in the U.S. basically that all they got shut down. I know there's still a lot of, uh, poker sites in Europe and those kind of things. We need to create a video game for PS4 cruise ships. Heck, they have boat and train games. They do not have a cruise game that we can pretend to like a Sims game. That's a pretty interesting idea. So yeah, there's farming simulator, SimCity. That would be neat to build a cruise ship to run a cruise ship from the from the ground up. The interesting thing is. Uh, most people in the world do not cruise. So cruising, I think, is only like 1% or 2% of the overall travel industry. And so you're dealing, even though we're able to, as a tribe, come together on YouTube and all of our socials, uh, and it seems like a lot of people, in the grand scheme of things, it's very small. But it would be cool if it ever got big enough to where they would like do a cruise sim or something like that. SK got in so they could get the deal on OBC RCL in C H L L H and C C L. Very nice. Yeah, our pool's a little cold. Uh W J R S B five eight. Tony A, yeah, I think we, we we might bring back the cruise wars. I like that question. Ann Handley, let's let's throw this down in the chat, everybody. Help help it out. Uh, this would be back into entertainment. Does anybody have a good list of cruise movies? I don't know a lot of cruise. So Titanic, does that count as a cruise movie? Uh, there was that movie with Kelsey Grammer that I didn't watch. Uh, Adam Sandler's got a cruise movie. I don't know. Help us out. Help us out. I got to look into the solar heater. That's interesting. A computer game that's about the love boat. Just looking back through the chat just to see if there's anything else before we move on to cruise excursions. Oh, Speed 2 is on a cruise ship? Down Periscope. That was a Kelsey Grammer movie, but he was in like some Hallmark movie recently. All 
All right, let's talk cruise excursions. So now that we are at our house for the most part, how do we excursion? What do we do for fun? I know for me, what do you guys think about this? So I guess the guidelines is only go out for essential needs. And it's not that hardcore yet in Florida like it is some other places. I guess I could get in my car and drive to a park where there's not a lot of people and still be social distance and kind of walk around and excurt that way. But I'm a little bit like I don't even really want to drive around anywhere. Um, what do you guys think? What, what, are you guys doing anything to, uh, <clears throat> to to escape your house a little bit? Chris Dunn, thank you. Uh, we're doing good. How's it in Georgia? Is it getting hot over there yet? <clears throat> Amanda said they thought about going to a Florida spring for a swim. They're still open, yeah. The beach has finally got close here. Now, it got crazy. Like, I don't know if you guys saw the coverage, but it was spring break, and there were just people piled on top of each other, which turned out not to be a good vibe. I know they were trying to, you know, make sure the economy stayed strong, but it wasn't good. A request for Old Blue. It's in my bedroom, so I can't put it on right now. Thank you, though. Thanks for the Old Blue love. Snorkel in the pool or hot tub. That might be interesting. So, uh, wow, I didn't even think about that. So if you have a pool or a hot tub, maybe get somebody else in your house to uh, throw some items in it, and then you can go diving for it. But, you know, they don't tell you what the items are. That could be interesting. Peggy's got an idea going for a walk with the dogs. That's a good one. Stephanie M., her husband goes on poop hunts in the backyard. He wouldn't recommend that as an excursion. Wouldn't that be awesome if you did see that, like, uh, as an offered ship excursion? Go uh, poop hunting. I don't know what kind of wild poop would be interesting, though. Dinosaur, Velociraptor. Oh, out to see with Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau, another cruise movie. Wow, Papa Mozo, I, I didn't know. Now I'm learning so much about you. Game, blowout, guess the tensile strength of all the Speedos I model. So uh, Papa Mozo uh, getting some work as a Speedo model. Some can handle it. And some aren't for the fats. Very nice. Very nice. You got to be careful when you're putting on the uh, putting on the thin clothing. Thank you for the super chat. Super chat. We do have the soundboard over here. Is this the applause? Thank you. Buy a stingray and keep it in your pool, says Ari. I don't know what kind of life you're living, but I don't know where you can just go buy a stingray. I like it. I would do it. Oh, Peggy, it's still cold in winter there. You can go cross-country skiing. That's funny, Blaine. Lay out by the pool. I'll make sure to tell her this. Lay out by the pool and tell Jenny to be the waitress and hand you a soda or drink when needed. Be like, yo, woman, go get me a drink. I don't know. I don't know if she'd do that or not. I've never so uh, Mister says visiting virtual islands and Animal Crossing on my Nintendo Triple Ha. Um, that game is one of the most popular games ever. I've never played Animal Crossing. What is the one I played? Uh, Stardew Valley, which I enjoyed quite a bit on the Switch. Uh, but Animal Crossing, what, any Animal Crossing fans? Is that something? Uh, I know you can sink a lot of time into it. I tell you what, even during this time, I've been thinking about trying to carve out some time to play World of Warcraft, but. I haven't got to that point yet. I probably should unpack the boxes in my garage. Stephanie M. wants a monkey and a dolphin. That's an interesting question. Now I got to know if you could have any animal, if you could own any animal, uh, let's excluding a dog or a cat, what animal would you? Let's let's make it broad. Let's broad framework. Uh, the animal's not going to hurt you. You have everything you need to take care of it. So this is just a carte blanche. What animal, if you could own and be the master of, what animal would you own? What would be your dream animal? The P 
People out there feel like they have bronchitis. Be careful. Idea food excursion. Google a favorite food from your favorite stop and make it at home. Gabino's on deck. That's a great idea. I like it. Karen for an excursion. She says she owns a reptile. She could put it on her own head. That's pretty cool. I bet you do that already. Are we really going to call that a special excursion? Uh-oh, we've got a WoW player in the house. This next question is very important. Are you for the Alliance or for the Horde? All right, here we go. These are interesting. Uh, Roy doesn't want any animals. Lemur, Papa Mozo. Peggy would like an otter. Let's see. Debbie would like a giraffe. Chrissy would like stingrays. Jill would like a sloth. Kathy, a koala. Killer whale. Wouldn't it be cool, like, if, if nothing could go wrong, it would be very cool to swim with a killer whale. Uh, dolphin. Uh, Anthony Simone says dolphin. Todd says snakes, but he already has them. That's good. You're, it's good when you can make your dreams and your reality the same thing. Plump Travers, koala. Cheetah from O'Danny Boy. Meggie would like a donkey. Megan would like a donkey. Um, Ekatak. I don't know. I'm, I'm butchering that name. Green Sea Turtle, Hot Chicken, definitely a monkey. Uh, Marilyn would like a lion or a tiger. Uh, if you're familiar with Napoleon Dynamite, you could get a liger. Uh, Mark would like a buffalo. Michael, what's going on, buddy? Would like a sloth. Dilly would like a koala. A lot of koala love in the house today. Dolphin from Richard. Blaine wants the koala. Sea Day Travel Sloth. Purely Caribbean. Florida Panther. Corey would a, pan a panda would be kind of interesting. Kelly, giraffe or elephant. Um, look, I'm going spirit. I, I want some sort of dinosaur. I, I would love to have a dinosaur, just a small dinosaur. Koala, plump travelers. Oh, for the horde. Okay, Danny boy, you're fine. Uh, Araya, Areda, Ari. I don't know how do you say your name. Ari the Arita. I should be able to read that. That's my bad. Uh, but you're for the horde. You got to get out. I'm just kidding. Uh, let's see. Mike would like lions. Alliance. That's right. There's more alliance than horde. Thank you so much. Ship show wants chickens. Uh, John, do you eat chicken? I gotta know. How, I gotta know how all this works. Is it circular like that? Do you love chickens, but you also eat chickens? What's going on over there? Bonus idea, keep the food and add in your favorite drinks. That would definitely make it a go. There you go, combining the food and the drinks. Black Panther. K. Grisby, a dragon. Very nice. Oh, somebody wants a manatee. Joe Michaels, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Sharon at sea, uh, what's up? Wu just walked into the house from a supply run, wanted to give a proper hello. Did you get everything that you needed? I did mention, <coughs> excuse me, guys. Let me get a little. Before I tell Jamie what he committed to, hold on. So, Jamie, we've been talking about um, what we should do to feel like we're living that cruise life. And I mentioned that a lot of us creators are out there making content to help people uh, be a little distracted during this time. And I did let the cat out of the bag, the pole cat, uh, that later on, I don't know if it's on your live stream today, but you did promise some sort of uh, pole dancing lessons on the Sharon at Sea Travel Live show. So there's going to be a lot of people coming over there uh, looking for pole dancing that you promised me privately that nobody knows about. Uh, maybe not, you don't, might, or you forgot that you said that, but um, just so you know. There you go. Ann Gibson, you're not very nice. She said, give Jenny an iguana. She would kill me. She would kill me. There you go. That's good. Uh, ship show, not a fan of chicken as food, but we'll eat it under protest. There you go. I think ship show, honestly, as long as you stick to the uh, wings or the legs, uh, you're fine because a chicken can live without wings and legs. It, once you go breast, you know they've killed that chicken. And so... Uh, that's just a little advice from your Uncle Tony here. Uh, no, Roy, I didn't. Uh, calm down, Roy. You, you need to get your story straight. I did not volunteer Jamie for pole dancing. This is what was told to me 
in confidence, and I unfortunately, spoiler alerted it, uh, just so you know. Just so you know. Platypus. I like that. Are there only one kind of platypus? Like, you know, you hear it bandied around the duck-billed platypus. Are there more than one platypi? I don't know. I don't know. Sharon and C scored some paper products. Uh, late morning proved more prosperous. I, I couldn't see your whole comment, and I thought the word pepperoni was in there. I don't know where my head's at. Mark Carroll, what's my favorite cruising besides vacation? I like to go to uh, casinos because I enjoy um, live entertainment, I enjoy gambling, and I enjoy food. Can you sense a theme there? Uh, and sometimes I like to do historical stuff, but I kind of like to day trip that. So if there's like a historical site I could go to a battlefield or something like that, that's more of a more of an educational run around on my own kind of thing. But if I'm vacating with other people, uh, I like the, I like it to be food, gambling, entertainment, late night type stuff. That's how I dig it. I dig it. I don't know when their live stream is. Uh, Jamie, somebody said you guys had a live stream today, today or later. There's a lot on tap, though. I've seen several, so. Oh, Jamie, you feel like there's a shortage of thumbs up. Maybe it's just a lot of short thumbs and they're not showing up. I don't know. Ridgeback platypus. Now I feel like I have to up my skill on the platypus. All right, let's move it to the last one. Cruise activities. This is uh, this is what we talked about, right? Like love and marriage show, origami, towel folding. What's some ideas? What what's some what's some stuff you could do at home to make it feel like the cruise activities? What I what I've done here at the house. And Jenny doesn't love it. Uh, I've rigged up a PA system, and so uh, anytime that I have to talk about anything in the house, I just do it over the PA. <clears throat> so it sounds like we're on a cruise. So I'll be like, hey, in a half hour, we're going to be watching Survivor. There's going to be Survivor in the main atrium. Uh, make sure you come get your grilled cheese sandwich and uh, come join us in the atrium for Survivor. Uh, it's a little annoying, but I think it's like the cruise life. There you go. Learn the dance moves. Can anybody out there, like, pull up the YouTube videos and learn how to dance, like all those Fortnite dances? I'm impressed by people that dance. I can't really dance. Well, I'm trying to think if I've been to all these cities that Amanda just mentioned. Nashville, I've been there. I lived there for 28 years. Gatlinburg, yes. St. Augustine, yes. Savannah, never explored there. Never been to Denver. Toronto Maple Leaf Platypus. Let's go Predators. That's what I'm saying. Big thumbs up. Jenny is a saint. Yes, 100%. <coughs> My throat is dry today. Team trivia, that's a good idea. Shows have a, uh, yes, I do like the show's dance video when they were in the samurai costume. Yeah, I don't know how to do the wobble. I don't know any of these dances. I guess I, I guess I should learn. I sure, you know, look, uh, I'm probably revealing too much purely Caribbean, but if I did have a life jacket at home, I probably would put it on from time to time and check it out. Yeah, sometimes so like uh, sometimes to feel like that I'm sleeping on a cruise, I will like sleep in the bathroom just because it's so small. Just kidding. Uh, no, Kathy, I don't have any of the other symptoms. I did have. I think pollen really uh, jammed up Florida. So like, I feel like four days ago I went out and the car was completely yellow. So I have a black car. It was yellow. Mother Nature. Was trying to do her business with all of the rest of nature, and uh, 
almost immediately I got stopped up. I got a little bit of a fever. Um, but all that passed. So, yeah, I think I'm, I, I'm suffering. I have, I'm all stopped up in the sinuses, which isn't a symptom of the bad thing. But, yeah, scary. Scary. That's right, Soul Bear. I wear a Speedo. Everybody talks about Speedos. Like, do, do you think people actually own Speedos, or is there just an obsession? And I usually hear these kind of, is it just an obsession with Speedos? I don't know. But I don't own a Speedo, but I, 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 I would wear a life jacket around the house. <coughs> Jamie, take it easy, man. Get those groceries picked, picked up. We'll see you on the poll later. That's an idea I can get behind. Ocean to ocean travel. At 4 p.m., you should practice the muster drill. That's not a bad idea. What would be a home muster drill? Would you, like, go over your fire preventedness or fire readiness plan? Uh, would you go over what to do in case of a tornado? It's a good idea. I don't have any lifeboats here, but I got the beetle. That's, yeah, okay, there you go. That's what Jenny said. Oak pollen's really bad. I don't even know what oak pollen is, but it sounds horrible. I never got uh, sinuses or anything in uh, North Carolina, but apparently the oak pollen is kicking my butt down here in Florida. Cheryl, that reminds me of an old joke. So uh, Cheryl said, Cloud9 Spa Gym, Whirlpool Sauna in the bathroom. Uh, that's that's what I. That's an old joke I remember is that if, you know, you can't afford a hot tub. You just poot. Poot in the bathtub. Sarah Clement in the house. Yeah, pollen is not good. California, too. That's all, you know, that's the, that's the funny thing. Like, all this stuff stacks up on top of each other. Live oak trees. Well, have we have we solved it? Have we figured it out? Can we have a little bit of cruise life at home? I think I think we can. A uh, lot of good, a lot of good suggestions here. I do think uh, what's one that I'm going to try. I think I got a variety of food that maybe I can make two or three dishes one night, and treat it buffet style. That might be fun just to make some. You know, we got a lot of rice and beans and stuff like that. Maybe make a few dishes, put them out on the old kitchen counter, treat it like a buffet. <laughs> I really don't have the PA system here, but uh, I see that you guys responded to it. I think maybe uh, maybe that's something I should do. <coughs> excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. All right, well, we're winding down. Where's Jenny? She's working. She's making sure the people that got cruise questions, trying to book their travel – Trying to deal with these future cruise credits or getting it done. So yeah, it's uh, it's it's interesting the way uh, the trajectory of the channel has gone. Uh, I do a lot of the video and she does a lot of the back end uh, travel stuff, and so we try to make sure that we converge those things at least once a week on the live show and try to get her in the videos. But uh, yeah, you stuck with me for the most part. So I'm sorry, man. Do the best I can. Make fajitas. That can be buffet style. That's true. Yeah, so we got about six minutes left, and then I'll, I'll call it a day. But if you guys have any questions, throw a cue by there and throw it down in the uh, in the comments there, and I will try to answer answer the comment. That's a question. So <clears throat> that this is a great question. Daryl Youngblood, buffet, make sure that you use the tongs. There is some debate about, say you're eating with your family. Maybe a family gathering of six or seven or something like that. Can you handle the food with your hands if you know people? This is a question that, you know, there was some pushback on the cream puff debacle. Would you Would you care? As, the fact that it's strangers, does that make you care more or just anybody touching the food's a bad deal? That's a question. That's the question. Don't do the PA system. My dad had one in the house when I was a kid. He drove me crazy. And I could imagine that would. That would.
That's right, Blaine. Again, I'm not sure everybody's going live tonight, but uh, make sure you're subscribed to just search for Cruz in YouTube and subscribe to all those people because there's a lot of people going live tonight sharing at sea, uh, Cruise Tips TV, Alana, Zingano, uh, Adventures Ahead. I'm not sure who all is live tonight. Ship Show, are you guys live tonight or was that last night? It's a big no to anybody touching the food so far. Nobody should touch food with their bare hands anywhere. What about fried chicken? Can you touch that with your hands? Kiri Holden, thank you so much for the super chat. All right, so tomorrow I will put out the second cruise vlog from the MSC Davina. We're not currently on that cruise. It was one we did in February with our friend Don. But yes. Do you think July 4th will be canceled on Carnival? I don't know. I do not know. <coughs> oh, that's right. Degenerates, Amanda. Thank you so much. They're making drinks today. So right now, here I'll, I'll read the tea leaves. I'll divine it as well as I can. A week ago, the major cruise lines agreed to... Suspend service for 30 days. Uh, when those 30 days start to end, a couple things could happen. They could resume service, and we'll know that within the next 30 days, or they could extend the amount of time that they will suspend service. Maybe they'll do it in 30-day increments. Maybe they'll do it longer than that. But I think, uh, I think at least I would hope that 21 days into the 30 days, there will be an announcement on what's going to happen after the 30 days. Sucks that it's so much of a wait and see, but I think the whole world is waiting and seeing. Like, so what's going on with uh, the health things? You know, they're saying uh, 15 days to flatten the curve. We'll know better in 30 days. You know, so much of it is a waiting game. So much of it is chaos and unknown. So I would hate to speculate what what's going to happen in July. The thing I'm looking forward to is really that 21 day mark. I'm hoping to start seeing cruise lines that have committed just to 30 days to start making further announcements. If the world hasn't drastically changed from what it is right now, I, I would be surprised if sailings resume at that 30-day mark. But again, I don't know. I don't know what tomorrow holds. So uh, if you got a cruise booked in you know, April, May, June, July, you just got to wait it out a little bit. We've got one in June, July. we got one in June, July, October. So we're waiting it out with you guys. Uh, Carnival Cruise Line number one fan. When is our next Carnival Cruise? October. The La Lita Loca Sharon at Sea Group Cruise. No chicken. I don't know what. Oh, you can't touch the chicken? How do you eat? Anybody eating fried chicken with a fork and a knife? I hope we're back to cruising by July. I really do. We're supposed to go down to New Orleans. Because if we're back to cruising in July, that means that this whole thing is settled down and they got a plan and people are doing better. Thank you, Scott. Oh, Retro Sarge is showing up late. It's almost over. I got Retro Sarge to commit to come on and do some videos with me, so that is a real commitment. Be on the lookout for my brother soon. What's up, Bonnie? All right, guys. Well, thanks for spending the hour. I, I don't know if we solved it. I don't know if we figured it out. How are you going to live that cruise life while you're in isolation? Uh, thanks, everybody, for stopping by. If you enjoyed the show, please show your support by hitting that like button. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Come back for another video here at the La Lita Loca Crew Show. Uh, again, my name's Tony. And until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye, everybody. Talk to you later. Take care.